Is it recording? <laughs> 47 hours it took us to start this video. That deserves a subscribe just for that. All right. Right, go on. Get to it. We've got so, wood to chop. It's an exciting donkey. donkey. Yeah, it's a donkey. And what else could happen on this intro? <laughs> okay, let's start. Cut! Hello, welcome back here. Howdy. Today's episode, we are going to start with the camper van. With the van. And we are going to make it a camper van. He's going to explain what we are going to make. This is me. I'm going to explain. Uh, if you're sitting comfortably, then I shall begin. So today we're thinking of making a modular base system for the camper. It's going to have one section that has three drawers that come out. You're going to have your fridge, cooking appliances and then storage. And then behind that an extendable extra base for the mattress. So it's going to be possibly the best camper you've ever seen. Definitely the best camper on the internet. And. Uh, my sister's phone has ruined the shot. <laughs> <laughs> we got some materials for that. Now we are going to empty the van and start cutting the wood. Let's go! So we took them out and we got some plywood and some timber. This timber that will be a base and the plywood is going to be for outside and the drawers that we are going to make inside for pull-up kitchen and storage system. Why we want a modular system? The van, you can see we are using for carrying everything here. So it needs to be a van when we want to use as a van and also a camper when we want to use as a camper. So in this case, putting something permanent there means that we are going to lose from the space and the carriage capacity of the, of the van. That's why we are going to make modular system so that we can just remove everything and use this as a as a normal van and put back and use it as a camper van. So that's the plan. Let's get cooking. We cut all the pieces, now it's time to assemble them. But we came here, this side of the pool, because we have a huge area here to work with. We need a big surface to work. A workbench wouldn't be enough because it's not that big enough, the ones that we have. So we will do it here and also it's a bit elevated from there and it's gonna make it easy to work with. So uh, we made the base and it's, it looks really solid and now we are going to put the rails on the side and start doing inside it. We finished the base and at the rails and now we need to cut the plywood and put it on top and the side. We put 
90 centimeters rails here on the side ones on the bottom and the middle one in the middle of the base so that middle one is going to carry the fridge and is going to a bit more heavy that's why we wanted to put in the middle to give it a bit more strength so right now they look solid they look really nice working really nicely and then after the applying plywood gonna make inside bit and then we will see how it looks like and there will be also second part of this but without a rail system so it's just for the storage so we will go and cut some plywood let's go Just for the records, what we are doing is we are doing the bed extendable, like the, the base is going to be extendable and then we pull it, it's going to be a full size bed. So that's why we are cutting it to the shape at the moment, but this is a really hard job without right tools, man, half right tools we have on. We cut the bed, the, the mechanism that goes inside. Now it's time to try it, open it if it is working or not. So let's do it. Nice! It works! Handling my inner orbital sander. No, that was not slow motion. Right, hold your horses, everyone. Hold on to your hat. Oh, God, it's so fast. I don't know what we're going to do. Get in! Get in! Now we are going to put the side panels on top. So it's getting there, taking a shape technically. Again, race against sun. It doesn't look like we are going to be finishing anytime soon. <laughs> we have still, we have still a bit of work to do. Probably we will work in the dark. We will be not able to record any of it. So what you're going to see is in the next episode. See you on the next one.